Now, today we're tackling the topic almost any guy can relate to, shaving. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out shaving, there's some common mistakes that can prevent you from achieving the perfect shave. Whether we're talking about bad preparation or poor technique, we're going to go over the 10 of the most common shaving mistakes and how you can help avoid them. So if you're tired of irritation or just want to elevate your shaving game, you're in the right place. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. If any or all those topics interest you, I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Woodrow Bailey, salute. Now, first up on the list of nine of the most common shaving mistakes us guys make, not paying attention to your individual facial hair growth. You see, even before you start shaving, you need to take a good look at yourself. Which direction does your facial hair grow? Not only does all of our hair grow differently, different parts of your face can grow differently. We all have unique facial hair growth patterns and directions. Pay close attention to yours. Say for example, for me, the hair on my cheeks grows downward, whereas the hair on my neck grows upward. If you shave against the grain or in the wrong direction, it can easily cause irritation, ingrown hairs, and razor bumps, leading to discomfort or potential nicks and cuts. By taking the time to understand your unique facial hair growth pattern, you can achieve a smoother and more comfortable shave. Now, next up is a common shaving mistake I have to admit I've only gotten better at recently. Not properly preparing your skin before you even shave. Without preparation, it can lead to a host of issues. When you don't prepare your skin, it's dry and your hair follicles remain stiff, making it difficult for the razor to glide smoothly. This can lead to a rough shave, irritation, and even nicks and cuts. What do you need to do to prepare your skin? First, wash your face with warm water. This helps open up the pores and soften your hair follicles. This will make your shaving process more smooth and more comfortable. In addition to that, I highly recommend you apply a pre-shave oil. Pre-shave oil helps lubricate your skin and can provide an extra layer of protection against razor burn and irritation, ensuring a closer and smoother and much more comfortable shaving experience. Now, next up, we have a common shaving mistake that correlates easily with our first tip making sure you know your facial hair growth. You wanna avoid shaving against the grain. Now I have to admit, shaving against the grain does give you a closer shave, but in my opinion, it's not worth the trade-off. When you shave against the grain, you increase the likelihood of razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and irritation. The technique of shaving against the grain can lead to your razor tugging against your hair follicles, leading to discomfort and potentially painful consequences. Not to mention shaving against the grain can lead to uneven stubble growth and rough texture as the hair grows back. To avoid these consequences, it's advisable to shave with the grain, especially initially. Only go against the grain or across the grain if it's absolutely necessary. Now I wanna take a little time to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Razor MD, a company whose products I've been using over the last couple of months that's definitely elevated my shaving game. Razor MD is a pharmacist formulated brand run by a fourth generation proprietor, Scott Saltzman, based on a book of formulations he found in the Brooklyn basement of his family's drugstore. Handmade in the USA with natural ingredients and essential oils, Razor MD's products are made in a similar manner to the men in Scott's family over the previous decade. Products were created to solve a couple of problems allowing you to have the barbershop shave experience at home and making sure the products were of high enough quality to tackle powerful facial hair. And it includes the three products I've been using heavily. One, the pre-shave oil. This is a key ingredient to prepare your skin for shaving, packed with vitamins and anti-inflammatory ingredients to help your razor glide smoothly across your skin. Next up, we have Razor MD Shaving Cream the sandalwood flagship product. With its proprietary non-soap-based formula, it's great for all skin types and is very effective against redness, razor bumps, and acne. Finish off your shaving experience with the post-shave lotion that also doubles as a great skin moisturizer. It's an alcohol-free, lightweight formula that moisturizes your skin but doesn't leave it feeling greasy. Not only are these Razor MD products made of great ingredients, they're very effective. Take it from me. Now, not only did Razor MD sponsor today's video, 
They got a special offer for the Style of G family. When you order for Razor MD and use my special discount code Style of G24, you'll get 24% off your entire order. And you want to make sure you take advantage of this offer because it expires in the near future or when they sell out. So if you're looking to incorporate some high quality, effective shaving products into your shaving routine, don't hesitate to hit the link in the description and get your shaving products from Razor MD. Now, next up, we have another common mistake when it comes to your shaving technique. You want to make sure you avoid applying excessive pressure. When you apply excessive pressure, when you shave, it causes the razor to dig into your skin, increasing the likelihood of irritation, razor burn, and plain discomfort. Also pressing too hard while you shave can lead to your skin becoming inflamed, increased redness, and increasing the likelihood of nicks and cuts. Instead, what you want to do is glide the blade smoothly across your skin. This can lead to a more comfortable shave, a closer one, and greatly decrease the likelihood of irritation and injury. What you want to do is practice light, gentle, continuous strokes. This will help maintain your skin's integrity and lead to less injury and more comfortable results. Another thing I want you to do when you're practicing your shaving technique, don't rush. When you rush through your shave, it can easily lead you to miss spots leading to an uneven shave. Not to mention when you shave too quickly, it's much more easy to apply too much pressure, like we talked about in the last tip, leading to irritation, nicks, cuts, and just plain discomfort. When you take the time to shave carefully and much more methodically, it leads to a more comfortable shave and reduces the risk of discomfort and shaving injury. Not to mention when you slow down shaving, it leads to much more precision giving you a more even shave, making sure each area of the skin is adequately addressed and reducing the need for repeated passes. Having to shave the same area over and over easily leads to irritation. So when it comes to shaving, do yourself a favor, slow down. Now, next up is a common shaving mistake. I have to admit, can be difficult to avoid. Shaving over already irritated skin. You see, when you shave over already irritated skin, it can exacerbate existing issues and lead to further discomfort. When you shave over compromised skin, whether you're talking about ones with nicks, cuts, redness, or inflammation, your skin is already compromised and more sensitive than usual. Not to mention the friction and the pressure from your razor can cause additional inflammation, redness, and discomfort. And it can lead to more severe irritation and potentially infection. To avoid these problems, you're gonna have to do something that can be difficult not shave for a couple of days. Taking a break from shaving and using soothing skincare products to help calm the skin allows the skin time to heal, to be fully prepared to shave when it's time and lead to a more enjoyable shaving journey. Next up is a shaving mistake that is crucial you avoid. Ignoring post-shave care. It can lead to a wide range of issues. You see, after you shave, your skin is much more susceptible to dryness and irritation, making post-shave care essential. Failing to moisturize your skin after you shave can leave the skin that's dry, tight, and very uncomfortable. Using products such as aftershave or post-shave lotion allows your skin to be nurtured, moisturized, and can provide the skin with calming and soothing ingredients, helping to calm irritation and inflammation. So don't just shave and dry your skin off. By making sure you add post-shave care into your shaving routine, it will lead to skin that is hydrated, soothed, smoother, and more comfortable. Now, next up is a mistake that's actually part of an overall skincare routine, not exfoliating regularly. You see, when you do exfoliate regularly, which is using a facial scrub to remove the dead skin cell layers on your skin that can accumulate, not only does it remove those dead skin cell layers, it unclogs your pores, leading to a much more smooth, comfortable, and closer shave. You see, when you don't exfoliate regularly and those dead skin cell layers remain on the top of your skin, it can lead to an uneven shave, rough patches, and an uneven texture. This can interfere with your razor blade's ability to move smoothly across your skin, leading to a less comfortable shave and increasing the likelihood of tugs, nicks, and cuts. By incorporating regular exfoliation into your skincare routine, not only does it lead to fresher, brighter skin, it leads to a more comfortable and smooth shaving experience. Now, next up is a common shaving mistake we all tend to make, myself included. Ignoring proper razor maintenance. When you do so, this is a mistake that can lead to less effectiveness when it comes to your razor. Not to mention, it can reduce the safety of it as well. You see, over time, your razor can accumulate debris, 
I'm talking about hair, shaving cream, dead skin cells. These things can harbor bacteria, leading to inflammation and possibly infection. Also, neglecting to clean and dry your razor can make it dull much more quickly, leading to less effective shaves and increasing the likelihood of nicks, cuts, and tugs. Over time, poorly maintained razors can develop rust, corrosion, further compromising their performance and your hygiene. So you wanna make sure you're regularly cleaning, drying, and storing your razor. This can help maintain their effectiveness, prolong their lifespan, and ensure a more smooth and safe shaving experience. Okay, so there you have it. Nine of the most common shaving mistakes us guys make. Now do me a favor, let me know in the comment section if you feel there's some common shaving mistakes I might have left out. And if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I highly recommend you check out a recent video I did about 11 of the best grooming hacks for us men. You can check it out right here.